in the small, secluded town of Ravenswood, nestled deep within in the eerie forests of the Blackwood Mountains, an ancient evil lurked. The townspeople spoke of it, but only in hushed whispers, fearful of awakening the malevolent spirits that haunted the land. Legends of ghouls and restless souls permeated the air, casting a perpetual shadow over the once vibrant community. The tale begins on a moonless night, when the wind howled like a thousand tormented souls. A young woman named Amelia, with her raven black hair and porcelain skin, ventured into the heart of the forest. She had heard rumors of a hidden treasure buried deep within the haunted woods. Driven by curiosity and a desire for adventure, Amelia embarked on a treacherous journey that would forever change her life. As she ventured deeper into the forest, the air grew thick with an otherworldly presence. The trees seemed to whisper ancient incantations, and the ground beneath her feet felt cold and lifeless. Amelia's heart raced with a mix of fear and excitement, her senses heightened by the supernatural energy that surrounded her. Suddenly, a chilling breeze swept through the forest, extinguishing the lantern Amelia carried. Panic seized her as darkness enveloped her surroundings. She stumbled blindly, her heart pounding in her chest, until she felt a cold, bony hand grasp her wrist. A ghoul had emerged from the shadows, its sunken eyes glowing with an unholy light. Amelia's voice caught in her throat as she tried to scream, but no sound escaped her lips. The ghoul's grip tightened, its sharp nails digging into her flesh. Just as all hope seemed lost, a figure emerged from the darkness. It was a mysterious man, dressed in tattered black robes, his face obscured by a hood. With a swift motion, the man brandished a silver dagger, its blade gleaming in the moonlight. He lunged at the ghoul, piercing its heart with a single strike. The creature let out an unearthly shriek before crumbling to dust, leaving only a foul stench in its wake. Amelia gasped for breath, her body trembling from the encounter. The man, who introduced himself as Nathaniel, explained that he was a guardian of Ravenswood, tasked with protecting the town from the malevolent spirits that plagued it. He revealed that the treasure Amelia sought was nothing more than a lore, designed to ensnare those foolish enough to venture into the forest. As they made their way back to the safety of Ravenswood, Nathaniel shared the dark history of the town. Long ago, a powerful sorcerer had cursed the land, summoning ghouls and vengeful spirits to torment the inhabitants. The curse could only be broken by a brave, still willing to face the horrors that lurked within the forest. Amelia, now enlightened to the true nature, of her quest, found to help Nathaniel in his mission to rid Ravenswood of its curse. Together, they delved into the ancient texts and performed sacred rituals, slowly unraveling the secrets that bound the town to darkness. With each passing day, the ghouls grew weaker, their power waning as the curse weakened. The townspeople, once consumed by fear, began to regain their courage and hope. And as the last vestiges of the curse were banished, Ravenswood emerged from the shadows, reborn into a place of light and peace. Amelia and Nathaniel became legends in their own right, their bravery immortalized in the annals of Ravenswood's history. The ghouls, once feared and dreaded, became nothing more than whispers of a bygone era. And as the years passed, the tale of Amelia and Nathaniel served as a reminder that even in the darkest of times, courage and determination could conquer the most terrifying of horrors.